Good afternoon. Hello, good afternoon, everybody. Hope you're doing well on this beautiful Lord's Day. Pray that all is well with you wherever you're watching this podcast, whether it's in the U.S., in Barbados, in Russia, <laughs> India, uh, wherever you are. Uh, God bless you all. Thank you all for coming in and tuning in. Today's a different podcast because I want to pray for those who put their prayer requests in. But before we pray, I do want to just give some shout outs to my faithful followers, my faithful warriors. Hello, Dolores DeWitt. Hello, Calais. Hello. As you come in, go ahead and give me a shout out and a hi. And I just want to thank God for you coming in and uh, being with me on today as we go before the Lord in prayer. We're going to pray today. I'm going to pray for the needs of the saints, uh, those who have already uh, put their request in on yesterday. I sent out a notice uh, that I will be taking prayer requests. And so in those prayer requests, we're going to touch and agree uh, with you. So I want to give them preference, those who put their request in on uh, yesterday. Uh, when I posted that so uh, so they will you know those will be the ones that I will be praying and touching and agree with hi Kisa Smith good afternoon thank you all for joining uh, give me a shout out those of you who are on uh, so we can go ahead and get into the le uh, lesson usually I'm on the podcast and I don't have a lot of time to shout you guys out but today I want to give uh, just special shout outs to all of you faithful warriors that come on uh, prayer warriors. Hey, Jermaine Cooper, Minister Cooper, good afternoon to you. God bless you. Uh, who else is on? Uh, thank you for shouting out today. I know y'all are not used to me stopping to do this, but I want to take the time to say hello to those of you who are on because you're so faithful and I really appreciate uh, you taking the time to come on to pray and to agree and to learn and to hear what the Spirit of the Lord has to say to His church. I am so honored to be called to, um, to be called to help the bride of Christ uh, get prepared for His coming. That's what my calling is. Uh, we have a calling to prepare God's church for the return of His Son. And we know that he is coming back for what? Church without a spot or wrinkle or any such thing. So uh, it's such an honor, honor to be able to come to you in that. Hello, how are you, Gloria? God bless you. Thank you for speaking on today. Yeah, I see a lot of you coming on in. Go ahead and give a shout out as you come on in before I get started because I don't want to stop and shout out, but I want to shout you guys out early on. All you faithful warriors that come on uh, regularly. And then take a moment to share. Somebody may hear this prayer. Get blessed by it. Somebody may need be in need. Listen, those of you who are on, who did not put a prayer request in in advance from the post I, I put out there yesterday. Some of the prayer requests may be uh, some of the things that you're needing. So put your faith in agreement as we touch and agree. Put your faith out there to receive you know although i'm speaking to the person who specifically requested it if it's your need you grab it right if it's yours you grab it amen okay so yeah i see a lot of y'all have come on in thank you all speak 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 say hello hello okay if nothing else is popping up then i'm gonna go ahead and i don't see anybody else populating uh so I'm going to go ahead and get started in the teaching. Very small teaching. I just want to give you scriptures. I always give scriptures because you need a reference. You need a reference. Hello, Minister Jennifer James. God bless you. You need a reference. You need something in the word that 
that, that comes from the word to refer to when you're believing God for what you're praying for. Okay? You need a reference. And so today's teaching, slight teaching, small teaching, just a little time. Hello, Sister Smith, Sophia. The power of agreement in prayer. We're going to talk about the power of agreement. And I, uh, I'm going to read to you out of, out of Matthew, uh, I believe it's chapter 18. Matthew chapter 18. Let me confirm that before you put it in the chat. Um, just to be sure. Yes, Matthew chapter 18. And let's look at verse number 19. Matthew chapter 18, verse number 19. And I'm going to read this out of the Amplified Version. Now take a look at this. Listen to this. Again, I say to you that if two believers on earth agree, are you a believer today? I'm a believer today. You're a believer today. We're talking about the power of agreement in prayer. On this Effective Prayer Strategies podcast. If two believers in the Amplified on earth agree, that is, are of one mind and in harmony, right? So what we're believing God for is out of one mind and in harmony together about anything that they ask. Listen to this. In parentheses, the Amplified says, if we agree about anything that we ask within the will of God. That's very key. So we're not praying anything that's not within the will of God. And what is the will of God? The word of God. God's word is his will. His will is his word. So about anything they ask within the will of God, it will be done for them by my father in heaven. This is Jesus talking. This is a promise. This is the basis of our uh, coming in agreement in prayer for you all who are putting in your prayer requests or you all who are standing in the need of prayer. However, Holy Spirit will lead me to pray today. This is our scripture. This is the basis of our scripture. That if any two believers on earth agree that we are in the same mind and we are in harmony about anything that we ask within the will of God, then it will be done to them by my Father in heaven. Come on. Somebody type. I am in agreement. I'm in agreement. That's the word of God. That's the word of the Lord. That's the basis for our teaching today. That's the basis of our faith today. That we're standing in agreement with the will of God, with the prayer requests that are gone forth and that you have. There's two people in the earth. Me plus you is two. We're in agreement. We're in harmony. And God says that when we do that according to his will, when we ask these things according to his will, that he will do it. Another scripture that speaks directly to that, 1 John chapter 5, verse 14 and 15. Very familiar scripture. Let's look at that in the Amplified Version. It says, this is the remarkable degree of confidence which we as believers are entitled to have before him, that if we ask anything according to his will, some I say ask according to his will, anything according to his will that is consistent with his plan and purpose, he hears us. So if we ask anything according to his will that's consistent with his plan and his purpose, he hears us. Isn't it good to know that God hears you when you pray according to his will, according to his plan, according to his purpose, he hears you. You get his attention. You get his attention. Hallelujah. You get God's attention when you pray according to his will, according to his plan, and according to his purpose. He hears you. Amen. Now we already established where two agree in earth praying in his will, right? Then he's going to give us what we are agreeing and touching and agreeing with. Amen. Then he says, and if we know for a fact, as indeed we do, that he hears and listens to us in whatever we ask, we also know with settled and absolute knowledge that we have granted to us the request which we have asked of him. Amen. Amen. So in other words, if we know that he hears us, 
We have absolute resolute that he is going to give us what we are praying for. Because we prayed according to his will and we're praying and agreeing to people in earth and are agreeing, then we can believe to see God is going to manifest. Anybody in agreement? Come on, touch. I Say, I am in agreement. So let me know I got at least one other person that we can touch and agree with these prayers that you are in agreement. Now, before we move forward, I'm going to give you one more scripture because anytime we go before the Father in prayer and these prayer requests are, are there, so what that says is these requests are there so there's something that the enemy is using or something that the enemy has at bay or in play with the saints of God who are needing God to move upon these situations. So the enemy, the a hindering spirit can be there. Something needs to move so that these prayers can be answered and that God will begin to show up in these prayers and these uh, in the situations that the saints have requested prayers for. Amen. So now we got to remove any accusation that causes the enemy to have a legal right into the lives of the saints, at, uh, which is causing them to have to request prayer for these situations. What is it that the enemy has a legal right to in order for you to be experiencing this in order for you to be requesting prayer for this, we need to remove it out of the way. Once we remove that legal right, that accusation, once we remove uh, the cause from uh, that causes the enemy to have a legal right for your situation to be where it is now, then God can begin to move. So let's pray the prayer of cleansing to remove the legal right of the enemy. Some of you may say, hey, I haven't opened the door to the enemy. You don't know. We're going to pray. You in this situation, we're going to pray. You have what you have, and you want another result, result we're going to pray. We're going to remove the ordinance of handwriting, the ordinance against you that's causing you to be where you are or experience what you're experiencing or whoever you're standing in the gap for to be experiencing what they are experiencing. Can I get an Amen. So here it is. Put this in the chat. Colossians 2.14. Here's the word on that. Here's the word. It says that God made us alive with Jesus, having wiped out the handwriting of requirements that was against us. The handwriting of, of requirements that was against us. In other words, there was a legal cause against us. And Jesus wiped it away. How? Which was contrary to us. And he has taken it out of the way. How? Through the blood of Jesus. Through the cross. Having nailed it to the cross. So any accusation that the enemy had against us. That's a handwriting of ordinance. A legal right that was against us. We're going to ask the father to cleanse it. Because Jesus has nailed it to the cross. And we're going to repent and we're going to get the cleansing of it and remove it from out of the way. So that the prayer of agreement can be effective without Satan appearing and saying, no, you can't give them that. No, they can't have that because there's a legal right to me to attack them in that area. I have a legal right. They've not repented in this area. Or their forefathers opening a door, opened the door for me to have my hand and a hold on this area. Come on, somebody. So we're going to take care of that first in the realm of the spirit. The handwriting of ordinance refers to that which the devil is using to build a case against us to cause us to have what we have in a prayer need or prayer request. Amen. If it's a demonic force, we need to remove it. If it's a matter of you standing in your authority, then we need to do it. If it's, ma if it's a matter of you bring needing someone to stand in agreement with you, then we're going to do that today. 
Whatever situation is, we're going to handle it in the spirit. Amen? So we're going to pray and ask Colossians 2.14 be applied over our lives. That the Father... Uh, that the Father will remove every case and accusation of the enemy. Known or unknown. Some of you may know. Some of you may have opened the door yourself. If it's a financial situation, you haven't been tithing. You haven't been sowing seed. You haven't been operating in the principles of God. Then you may have opened the door yourself. And allow the enemy to come in to attack in that way. So we got to repent of those things. And remove that. That, they, that it's dismissed. That is dismissed in the course of heaven so that the blessing can begin to flow. Amen. So don't come asking for agreement and you're not willing to repent and change the things that you know that are not according to the word of God. and You're not operating in the principles of God correctly. I can't agree with you. So you will continue to be attack in your finances if you continue to do the same things over and over again and not fulfilling the scriptures and, and operating according to the truths of the word of God as a tither gives offering seats uh, sowing seeds and expecting the harvest making good financial decisions do you hear me amen this is not a you know God is a principal God and so I can come in agreement with you when you are fully in agreement with his will and in his word. And I know God is going to answer you. I know God is going to move on your behalf. I know God is going to begin to start shaking things loose from you. Shaking things loose for you. Amen. Because the handwriting of ordinance will be removed when you repent and you do things according to his will of God. Amen. Or uh, the will of God. Amen. Hallelujah. So are we ready? We're going to go before the Father in prayer. And I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, I made notations of those who put in their prayer requests. And then uh, as the Holy Spirit leads me, I see some who are new. Then I'll, I'll, I'll attempt to get those as well. And if I'm, I don't get to it online, you watch this broadcast, you re-watch it. Then I'll go back on and get notifications of a prayer and a comment. And I'm going to touch and agree with you. Believe in God. But you got to go through this and do these principles that's on these uh, that's on this live and, and, and implement the teaching if you've not implemented it. And if you have some things out of order, get them in order. Put the blood over your life when you go back and watch this. And so just know that I'll be standing in agreement for God to move. And I want to hear the testimonies that will come after it. Amen. I want to hear the testimonies. Hallelujah. I want you to come back and I want you to comment the testimony, what God did. After we prayed this prayer on this day, August 31st, the last day of August. Amen. 2022. That on this day, God broke it and the manifestations occurred. And I want to hear about it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's go ahead and go before the Father and get the blood on us and... Um, Move into the prayer request. Hallelujah. Amen. So somebody put that in the chat. Colossians 2.14 if you've not already. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to your name. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Let's come before the Father wherever you are. Thanking the Lord. Always come before the Father giving him a gift of praise and thanksgiving. And so, Father, as we enter into your courts with praise and thanksgiving, we just want to bring before you the fruit of our lips to tell you how much we love you, how much we honor you, how much we esteem you, how much, Father God, we love you so very much, and how grateful we are to be called according to your kingdom, called in your presence, to be called sons and daughters. Thank you for what you've done for us and sending your son Jesus Christ into the earth to die for our sins. Thank you for how you raised him up. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus, for presenting your blood. Hallelujah. For presenting your blood to the Father over the mercy seat. Hallelujah. We are so grateful. We're so honored to be able to come before your presence. Hallelujah. Singing your praise as our true king, as our Lord, as our Savior, as our Redeemer, as Yahweh, as Adonai, as
as Jehovah, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Shalom, Jehovah Nisi, hallelujah. You are the almighty God, the wonderful savior, the one who came to redeem our life from destruction. You gave us soteria. You gave us, Father, to be saved, to be healed, to be delivered, hallelujah, to be prospered because of your blood. And so we thank you, Lord, for your promises. We thank you for giving us your promises, giving us your blood and shedding your blood for us. We ask that the blood of Jesus begin to speak on our behalf right now. Father, as we come before you in praise and thanksgiving, we cover ourselves with the blood. We come before you repenting of all of our sins, Father. We repent, Holy One, of those sins, Father, that even were committed by our forefathers that opened the door for the evil one to have a handwriting of ordinance against us. And we're asking, Father, that the blood of Jesus, just like you said, Father, in Colossians 2.14, that the handwriting of ordinance has been dismissed because of the blood of Jesus and you nailed to the cross every accusation, hallelujah, every legal right that the evil one had to us. And so, Holy One, let the blood begin to speak right now on our behalf. Let the blood begin, hallelujah, to cry out, hallelujah, on our behalf that we have been pardoned. We have been pardoned. We have been pardoned. Hallelujah. That the handwriting of ordinance no longer have power against us. Glory to your name. And because of that, Father, we stand on your promises. We stand on your word that you are a just God. Hallelujah. Because you are just God, you know that the blood is what washed us and cleanse us and you see us through the blood of Jesus you see us through our elder brother you see us through our redeemer you see us hallelujah through our savior and you no longer see us as sinful man because of the blood hallelujah and we ask that you cleanse our bloodline cleanse everything father that the enemy has against us through the door that our forefathers may have opened, even the doors that we may have opened, knowing and unbeknowing, Father. We're asking, Holy One, that you wash our slate clean and that we thank you that everything has been nailed to the cross in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And so because of that, Father, we can come boldly before your throne of grace to find mercy and grace to help in the time of need. And because of that, Father, we know that we can come praying according to your will and that you hear us. We know, Holy One, because of the blood that we can stand in agreement together, Father. And you said that if we touch and agree together that you will perform those things, Father. So we come in agreement. We come together in agreement today, lifting up your people who have put in their prayer requests uh, who are who's looking for an agreement so that you can hear them and that you can move on behalf on their behalf and change their situations in the name of Jesus and so father according to the prayer request a uh, Priscilla Walker uh, the Priscilla Walker Holy Father to have a better job and financial blessings over her household and Karen Tyson who's asking for prayer for a financial breakthrough and every person father that has Type in the chat for a financial breakthrough, Father. We're asking, Holy One, as we come into agreement, as we stand on your promises, you said, Father, that you wish above all things that we would prosper, be in health, even as our soul prosper through your apostle Paul to the church, Father. And we're asking, Father, that the uh, Priscilla and Karen, Father, would prosper financially, that you would bind the seed stealer that you will bind the enemy of poverty father it's not your will it's not your plan it's not your purpose for your people to struggle financially but father we break the financial ceiling from off 
for their life right now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. We break that spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus. We break that spirit of um, limitation off of them in Jesus' name. And so, Father, I thank you for opening up the windows of heaven and pour them out blessings, Father, that they don't have room enough to receive. I release a breaker's anointing over their finances. I pray, Father, that you would give them witty inventions, that you will help them see what's in their hand, see the giftings and the talents and the abilities that they have that, call, that will cause multiple streams of income to come to them in the name of Jesus. I, I declare and decree that you'll not look to one place. You'll not look just to a job for financial increase, but that the works of your hand will begin to make room for you to bring forth multiple streams of income into your life in Jesus' name. I break the back of poverty. I break the back of that spirit that tried to bring limitation over your life now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on, some of you receive that. Receive that. Say, that's for me. I receive that. If that's your situation and that's what you're believing for, put in there as a sign of your faith, as a sign of your agreement, that I have received that for my life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you uh, that your word says uh, that your angels excel in strength at your word. Uh, well, we decreed and declared your word here today, Father. We decree decreed and declared, and we're standing on your truth by faith. Uh, and we're asking, Father, that you will release holy angels to help bring to pass what we just prayed, Father, that financial increase an angel of wealth will be released unto us in the name of Jesus. Let the wealth angels, the angels that present opportunities, the angels that present a release, hallelujah, the angels that come to war with the spirit of poverty in the name of Jesus, may they be released unto us at your word so that the wealth can flow through us multiple streams of income let them burst forth in jesus name i felt that by the holy ghost hallelujah thank you for the angels that's being on assignment right now in the name of jesus thank you for the downloads thank you for the witty inventions on what to do hallelujah that'll bring forth hallelujah multiple 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 multiplied streams will come to us people will begin to look for us to do business with hallelujah Hallelujah. People would begin to search, hallelujah, and come to us for another stream of income. Glory. Hallelujah. I thank you, Father, that it will not be hard. It'll be an easy, easy flow and easy entrance into that new realm of finances in Jesus' name. Woo, hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, somebody. That's the Holy Ghost right there. That is God speaking to his people. That's the will of the Lord. So I pray you take it, and I pray you receive this. Hallelujah. Glory to your name. God is going to begin to speak to you. For those of you who are believing for more income, come on, it's not going to necessarily come through a job, but it has to come through the works of your hand is what the Lord is saying. He's saying, he's saying, pick up like he told Moses, pick the rod up, stretch the rod out. He's saying you need to stretch your rod out. The rod signifies what he's given you. The strengths, the, the abilities, the giftings. Stretch it out. Begin to utilize it. Begin to seek his face on it. And he's going to give you wisdom. Hallelujah. To be able to profit from in, in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. 
So let's move forward and, and, and praying for the rest of the saints to put their prayer requests in. Jasmine says she's been dealing with the spirit of rejection, been having emotional breakdowns randomly and need peace and balance. And so we're going to come against that spirit that comes to bring uh, emotional breakdowns. I re I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. And Father, we stand in agreement with Jasmine as there, if there's no legal right there, you no longer have a legal right to torment. And Father, I thank you for forgiveness. Come on. The Bible talks about how the tormentors will come to those who have unforgiveness. And a lot of people think that that unforgiveness is just against someone who did wrong to them. But many of the saints and believers have suffered with not forgiving themselves. You disappointed yourself in certain areas, in certain instances. And so you're having problems with forgiving yourself. And that's a reason and a door for the enemy to bring a tormentor in your life to cause you to have setbacks after setbacks after setbacks. So we break that off of you. We break the back of a tormentor. Come on, release yourself, forgive yourself. So you have no legal right for a tormentor to come and deal with you. Amen. Come on. Rejection, you must go in Jesus' name. We break your back. We curse you. Come on, declare that I am the beloved of God. I'm a son of God. I'm accepted in the beloved. Come on. I am accepted unconditionally by my Holy Father, by my Lord Jesus Christ, who thought well enough to me for me that he died for me, he bled for me, he was beaten for me, and he accepts me just as I am. And I don't need the acceptance of man when I have the acceptance of my Holy Father who created me, hallelujah, and so I bind and I reject rejection. I renounce rejection. Come on, some of you dealing with rejection too. Go ahead and renounce that spirit. I don't receive you. I don't take what you're trying to give me. I renounce the thoughts that you try to bring to me that I am not enough in the name of Jesus. I declare and decree that I am enough, hallelujah, and that no rejection would be a part of my portion in Jesus' name. I declare peace. I declare peace over you. I declare a balance that you are spirit-led woman of God. You are spirit-led man of God in Jesus' name. Come on, take that for yourself. Hallelujah. Balance. Out of control life. No schedule. Come on. You can, you are, it's, that's not the enemy. That's something you have to gird your mind up to take control of. And so, Father... You are the Prince of Peace. I release peace unto Jasmine in Jesus' name. Candy Sims, I pray for you that you would move into your own space and that you would have a closer relationship with the Lord. So, Father, we touch and agree with Candy. She wants to have her own place. She wants to have her own place, her own house, Father. And I'm asking that you open up doors of opportunity for you, her to move into her own house, Father. Give her everything that she needs, Father. Open up doors for her, Father. Lead her to the right place, Father. Lead her to talk to the right person at the right time, to say the right things to that person, Father. Father. Father, I ask that you open the door, bind every hindering spirit that would try to close the door to her. Whatever it is that she needed in the natural, Father, I ask that you provide it in the name of Jesus. And I ask that you, Holy Spirit, will begin to draw her closer to you, Father. I ask that you deal with her even in the midnight hours, Father, to come and seek your face, Father, and that she'll have a, a, a desire, a strong desire to move closer and closer in prayer to you in Jesus' name. Father, I pray even for Larika, Father, for financial peace, Father, and I pray for the salvation of her brother, Father, that you would send laborers across her path, his path, and that you would send laborers who would speak to her brother, words that would burn on the inside of his heart, that would draw him to you, Holy One, in the name of Jesus, for we know that your hand is not too short, that you can't save, Father, and I'm asking that you put them in the right position to hear clearly your gospel and to receive your love in Jesus name. Father, I pray for Indy 
Sophia. I pray, Father, that you will give her sweet sleep, uninterrupted sleep in the name of Jesus. Your word says that you give your beloved sweet sleep. And so I come against a tormenting spirit that would try to invade her dream to interrupt her sleep. I bind you. I break your power now. I put the blood of Jesus, Father, up before you for on behalf of India. And I ask that that blood speak on her behalf. And I ask that you send forth the holy angel, her guardian angel, to stand guard against the demonic force, the tormenting force that try to enter into her dreams. Let the angel of God, the guardian angel, guard her. Guard her. Guard over her bedpost in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for giving her discerning of spirit to know whether the spirit of the Lord is giving her warnings, whether the spirit of the Lord is speaking to her and discern between when a demonic force is trying to interrupt her dream. The blood of Jesus is against every tormenting spirit to interrupt her sleep. I say sweet sleep in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on, those of you who've been struggling with sleep, if that's your portion, say, hey, I receive it. I receive it by faith in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I pray for Decorah. I pray for Matthew, who wants an increase in faith. Hallelujah. And uh, I pray against doubt and confusion in the name of Jesus. Father, you said... That faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God, Holy One. Well, I pray, Father, that they will continuously hear your word. They, they will continue to study your word. That there will be a strong desire to study your word that will increase their faith, Holy One. Because you said that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So as the word increases in their life, their faith will go stronger and stronger, Father. And I pray, Father, for supernatural impartation of faith just like apostle paul said to the romans that i desire to come to you to release an impartation of a spiritual gift to you well i pray father for an impartation of the spiritual gift of faith to their core father and to matthew in the name of jesus in the name of jesus just receive the impartation of the gift of faith father which is one of your gifts of the spirit lord open up a new realm of faith to them that they know not of. Give them special faith for special assignments that you've called them to. And I bind every doubt and confusion that will try to come into Matthew's mind in Jesus' name. I curse that spirit of confusion. For you said, Father, you are not the author of confusion. So we know that has to come out of the place of hell and the demonic realm. So I break confusion. I break the spirit in the name of Jesus, the back of the spirit that tries to bring that spirit over Matthew in Jesus' name. And I declare and decree that you have a regulated mind, that you're able to think properly, that you're able to discern between your intellect and the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. A new discernment will come to you to know what the spirit of the Lord is saying and what Matthew's intellect is saying. I declare a new grace over you to be able to discern, to be able to stop our confusion. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Father, I pray for Sister Wilson's family. I pray, Father, that you would give her wisdom to deal with the situation in the blended family that you placed her in, Father. I pray, Holy One, for the blood of Jesus to be over her family, and I bind the spirit that come to separate and divide and bring division. I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus. Give her wisdom to close every door, to close every door every door to close every door to the spirit of confusion that would try to creep in and cause division wisdom you said he that lacks wisdom let him ask and you will give liberally and you will not hold back hallelujah come on if you need wisdom receive that i receive wisdom your word said father that you will not hold back that you will give those who desire wisdom a 
overflow wisdom. Liberally, you will give it to us. So crown our heads with wisdom that we'll know what to do, when to do, how to do, what to say, when to say, how to say, what to, what to move on, when to move on it, how to move on it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Receive that crown of wisdom. Receive a crown of wisdom over your head and look to wisdom before you speak. Look to wisdom before you make a move. Look to wisdom. Some of you are looking to your own intellect. You're looking to your own self. You're looking to resolve your own issue and wisdom is sitting idly by waiting for you to pick her up. Pick wisdom up. It's there for you. Hallelujah. I pray for Sister uh, Trina Gilliam for her two adult children, that God will continue to cover them and that they will walk in divine purpose for their lives, Father. I pray, Holy One, your word says, Father God, hallelujah, that, your, that our children, Father, our children are a blessing unto you. And Father, that they will spring forth and drink from the, the rivers and the springs of life, Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, I say that our children, come on, somebody, you need to take a hold of that. I received and take this prayer myself that our children will rise up and do their do the will of the Father that they will do your will Father that they will fulfill their God-given purpose that they will walk after you all the days of their life Father that as we train them up in their childhood I declare that when they are older they will not forget but they will walk in the training hallelujah that they been imparted into as a child in the name of Jesus. I bind up every demonic force around our children that will try to pull them out of your will, that will try to pull them into the dark demonic realm. I send the blood of Jesus, Father, over our children. Let the blood be their defense. No weapon formed against them will prosper. I bind every jealous demonic spirit, every jealous demon jealous come on i see some jealous spirits around our children they're really jealous at what they have they're jealous of the family that they come out of they're jealous and they're sneaking they're being very sneaky and waiting on an opportunity to help the enemy give them a stink snare Bring a snare before them. I see that. And so I say, no weapon formed against them will prosper. Every tongue that rises against them is condemned. Open the eyes of their understanding, Father, that they'll see and know, Holy One, what the hope of your calling is. Put them in a situation, Father, where someone will begin to speak to them and send forth laborers across their path to confirm to them what their roots are in knowing you and being filled with the Spirit, that they will operate in every gift, talent, and calling that you call them to in the name of Jesus. Oh, some of y'all need to take that for your children. Yeah, I declare that the snare won't work. That the snare that the evil one set, that he will fall into it himself. That just like Haman, when he prepared the gallows for Mordecai, and the enemy thought he had a plan for them. Oh, hallelujah. Because of the prayers of the righteous, that Father, the prayers of our our the parents, uh, that the gallows that were meant for our children, uh, that the enemy would have to be hung on it himself. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Because of the blood. Because of intercession. Thank you for your angels being encamped about our children to keep them in all of their ways. I pray for Gloria, Father. O'Brien, Father, I pray, Father. For her niece, Holy One, for her as well to walk in 
your divine purpose and destiny for her lives. So the same thing, even for her children, Father, that we just pray for our children. We pray for her niece in Jesus' name. I pray for Dee Dee Wiley for promotion, rebuilding, and connection with God. The same prayer that I prayed earlier, Father, that I pray for Dee Dee in Jesus' name. I pray for Lasagna, Father, that she, that she would have a healthy baby and an uncomplicated birth, uh, that she would have wisdom as a mother, Father. Your word says in Deuteronomy 28, Father, that as we obey you and serve you all the days of our lives, uh, that you will call, Father, the fruit of our womb to be blessed, Holy One. And so we stand in agreement on that principle, on that word, on that promise for Lasagna, Father, that the fruit of her womb is blessed, that no weapon formed against her or the baby would prosper, that that baby is assigned a guardian angel, Holy One, and that that angel will watch guard over him or her, and that the enemy will not be able to steal, kill, or destroy in the name of Jesus. Crown her head with wisdom. I pray for wisdom even for Candace Jones for her business. I pray for Lorenzia that she will have the wisdom to set boundaries and to balance her life during this busy season. I pray for Asia that the conditioning of her body and maintaining health, Father, will be her portion that you give her wisdom according to what you know she needs, a regimen that will be easy and that she will be able to be strengthened to get health and wholeness as we said earlier that it is your will that we prosper, be in health even as our soul prospers I declare that over Asia that you will prosper you will be in health and your soul will prosper in Jesus name I pray for strength, I pray for stamina to be able to follow through, I pray for discipline over you in Jesus name and I also pray for Kena that she would take courage and do the things that you have called her to do and utilize the giftings, talents, and abilities that you placed in her with all courage, just like you told Joshua, be strong and very courageous. I declare that that is my portion, that is Kena's portion, that is everybody under the sound of this lie's portion in Jesus' holy name. We touch and agree. We declare this so according to your word and according to your truth. It is so. Come on, somebody put in there. It is so. It is so. Even as you have said it, Holy One, I feel the anointing of the Holy Ghost. That God is in agreement with us as we are in agreement with each other. And there's power and unity and agreement. And that we pray it according to his will. That it is done according to our faith. In Jesus' name. It is so. Amen. God bless you. Hey, Takora, daughter. Love you. We miss you. Pray you guys are doing well down there in Jacksonville and you've gotten settled. Hello, Jasmine, daughter. Clara. Hey, son. Minister Roscoe. Hello, Mary Cooper. God bless you. Jasmine Smith. Hey, Denisha. Bless you, darling. Yes. The Lord's. Amen. Yolanda. God bless you. Thank you, Jesus. Okay, yes. Yeah, so I just want to shout you guys out. Thank you so much, all of my warriors that come on and uh, enjoy time of prayer. Power. Did y'all enjoy the Tongues of Fire event? I was so blessed by how many of you came out to the Tongues of Fire. And when I tell you the glory of the Lord manifested, and I've received testimonies of what God did as a result of the tongues of night of tongues of fire, so many powerful encounters with Jesus, just from praying in the Holy Ghost for one hour straight. Encounters started happening. People were having encounters with God. I'm not talking about with a man or a woman. I'm talking about an encounter with God Almighty. He encountered us. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And God was even working on, on behalf of other people. As we were praying in tongues, God was working miracles in the lives of other people because of the tongues of fire. Hallelujah. 
And so we're going to be having those, I believe, monthly. So stay tuned for the next Tongues of Fire. I was so blessed by how many of you all came out that night. You know, when you call a prayer meeting, you get maybe 5, 10, 15 people. But we have we had close to 50 to 60 people come out for a night of Tongues of Fire. I don't know what you all expected, but I came expecting to do exactly what I said. We're going to pray in the Holy Ghost for one hour. I always give scriptures uh, so that we can have a basis for our prayers as led by the Spirit of God. But ultimately, it's about building ourselves up on our most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. And we know that angels are activated when we pray in the Spirit to start moving. Miracles, signs, wonders, and encounters with God starts happening. Amen. And so stay tuned for the announcement for the next one that's coming up um, this uh, month, next month. Tomorrow's the first, so next month we will have one. Uh, I see where, yes, Gloria said it was amazing. Do it again. We will. Wonderful to hear Tongues of Fire will be happening again. Yes. Roscoe said you got a testimony, Minister Roscoe, from Tongues of Fire. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Well, I pray this prayer has blessed you today. Love you too, Takora. Yes. Yes, the angels were activated. God bless you, Yolanda. Amen. So God bless you all. We love you. We'll see you on next Wednesday. I'm excited about what Holy Spirit is giving me already for next Wednesday. It's going to bless you. I think it's going to be a series. And so I'm really excited about that. All right. See you all tonight. Those of you who are in Memphis, those of you who are around the world, love you guys. We will see you next week. Amen. Go in God's grace. Go in his power. Remember, pray in tongues at least one hour minimum every day and watch your life change for the better. All right. God bless you.